Welcome to our video tutorial on how to solve problems involving radicals. First problem, the square root of the sum of two consecutive integers is 7. Find the two integers. The first thing that we need to do is to understand the problem. Pinapahanap niya yung dalawang integers at hindi lang basta integers, may condition siya. Ang condition niya ay dapat consecutive, magkasunod. Tapos, pag kinuha mo yung square root, ng sum nilang dalawa dapat equal sa 7. E dahil hindi natin alam kung ano yung mga integers na yun, gagamit tayo ng, ng representation. Anong expression ang gagamitin natin to represent those two integers that we do not know yet? So we, we have here, let, kung ang unang integer natin ay 25, yung kasunod niya ay 26, di ba? Since hindi tayo sure kung ano yung mga yun, gamitin natin ay variable, yung x, to represent the first integer. No? Kung x ang first integer, dagdagan mo na lang 1 yan, yun na ang magiging next integer. Nakasunod niya. So, kung x ang first integer, yung next integer dapat ay x plus 1. Tama ba? Kung 20 ito, yung first integer, magiging 21 to yung next integer. Consecutive sila. So, tama. Next, pag meron ka ng representation, bumuo ka na ng equation. Base sa problem. Makakabubo tayo ng equation? Yes, kasi ang sabi ng problem, the square root of the sum of two consecutive integers, ito yung dalawang consecutive, is 7. So, kunin mo daw yung square root ng sum ng nilang dalawa, equal yun sa 7. So, ipag-add natin yung dalawa, yung first integer, saka yung next integer. Kunin natin yung square root ng dalawang yan, ng sum nilang dalawa, dapat equal yun sa 7. Ayun na. na. Silang lahat nasa loob ng radical sign. Sir, di po ba pwedeng the square root of x plus the square root of x plus 1? Hindi po pwede yun kasi ang sabi ng problem, the square root of the sum. Kunin mo muna yung sum nilang dalawa, tapos kunin mo square root. That's what we did. Next, simplify natin yung radicand na parehong linear term na x plus x, yun ay 2x. So that gives us the square root of 2x plus 1 equals 7. This time, we are solving radical equation. To solve radical equations, we, we follow suggested steps. No? Pero in our case, ang gagawin lang natin dito ay to raise both sides of the equation by the same number as our index. Ang index natin, natin dito ay 2, kaya square natin yung both sides. Kung yan ay naging 3, naging cube root, kailangan natin erase both sides by the third power. E dahil ito ay 2 lang, Square lang natin yung both sides. Ayan, by the law of radicals, itong radical sign saka yung exponent na 2, makakancel. Tapos itong 7 squared, pwede masimplify yan, na magiging 49. No, may iwan dito ay 2x plus 1, tapos dito magiging 49. Ayan, ito na ay isang linear equation. Sa linear equation, ang ginagawa natin to solve it, pinagsasama-sama natin yung, yung mga linear terms sa isang side at constant terms sa kabilang side. Kaya yung uh, yung 1 dito, ililipat lang natin siya sa kabilang side ng equation. Magiging negative siya. Kaya yan ay 49 minus 1, which is equal to 48. Next, we need to divide both sides by 2. And that's give, that gives us 24. Next, para makasigurado kung tama talaga yung sagot natin, let's do checking. Kopyahin yung buong equation, yung equation na nabuo natin. Tapos, lahat ng variable magiging 24. Yun ay 24 plus 24 plus 1. Okay? Simplify natin yung radicand. 49. So, the square root of 49 is 7. 7 is equal to 7. Kaya naman, we are certain na yung x ay 24. Now, to, to make our conclusion, babalikan lang natin yung representation. No? Sabi dito, ang x ang first integer. Ang x plus 1 Yung x natin, dagdaga na ng 1, yun na ang next integer. Kaya ang conclusion natin ay, therefore, the two integers are 24 and 25. Okay, that's it. Item 2. A triangular picture frame measures to the square root of 2 meters on two sides and the square root of 18 meters on the base. Find its perimeter. Siyempre, to understand this problem, this particular problem, kailangan ma-visualize natin siya. So, gawa tayo ng... Uh, illustration dito. No, sabi niya, the picture frame 
measures 2 the square root of 2 meters on two sides. Equal yung dalawang sides niya. Kaya basically, ito ay isosceles triangle. So, dalawang, dalawang sides na magkapareho ang measure. Tapos, yung naiiwan na, na third side ay palaging base. And that measures the square root of 18. Now, kailangan natin ma uh, enumerate yung mga given dito. Yung given dito ay alam na natin. Siyempre, yung three sides ng triangular frame. And also, we need to represent. No, we need to assign an expression that represents the perimeter. Anong variable ang pwede mong gamitin para i-represent yung perimeter dyan? Usually, ginagamit natin ay yung first letter lang. So that's P. So, let P be the perimeter of the triangle. Next, pwede na tayong bumuo ng equation. No? Paano tayo makakabuo ng equation dito? Ayan. From the question itself, na find its perimeter, alam naman natin na ang formula for the perimeter of any two-dimensional figure ay perimeter equals sum of all sides. No? So ngayon, substitute natin yung perimeter dito, kopihin natin, P equals, ano yung mga sides natin? Yung given measures, yung tong, yung tong tatlong to. Kunin natin sum yan, and that's equal to the perimeter. Next, we are now adding uh, radicals. To add radicals, our terms must be similar. Ibig sabihin, pare-pareho dapat yung mga indices at radicands. Para mapadali yung ating usapan, dapat lahat ng yan ay nakasimplest naka form na. Yung the square root of 18, pwede pa masimplify yan no, kasi meron siyang perfect square factor na 9. So, 18 can be written as 9 times 2. At yung 9 ay perfect square, kaya pwede na siyang lumabas. Magiging 3 na lang yan. So, that becomes 3 the square root of 2. This time, pare-pareho na yung indices natin at mga radicands. We can now add them. Unahin natin yung mga numerical coefficients. Ito ay 2 plus 2 plus 3. Tapos, kopihin lang yung radical na pare-pareho sa kanila, which is the square root of 2. And then, simplify natin itong tatlong to. 2 plus 2 plus 3 is 7. That's 7 the square root of 2. Ito na yung perimeter ng triangular frame. Conclusion. Therefore, the perimeter of the triangular frame is 7 the square root of 2 meters. Third problem, we have the side of a square tile measures 3 the square root of 5 inches long. Find the exact area of each tile. Kamukha ng previous item, gawa tayo dito ng illustration to better understand our situation. So, let's say ito yung ating square tile. At sabi niya, yung isa sa mga sides ay 3 the square root of 5. Pero since ito ay square, it is understood na lahat ng apat na sides na yan ay pare-pareho ang measure na 3 the square root of 5. Kung ang tanong ay perimeter lang, madali, madali nang sagutin yan dahil ipag-add mo lang yung, yung apat na yan, di ba? Pero ang tanong dito ay area. Kaya we need to list down the given here. Ang given dito ay syempre one side of the square tile. Pero in reality, apat na sides ng square ang alam natin. And also, we need to have a representation here, no? Variables or expressions to represent yung side and area. Anong variable ang gagamitin natin to represent those two measures or two variables? We can have A or capital A to represent the area of the square tile and S to represent the side of a square tile. Next, Equation na mabubuo natin dyan, syempre yung formula mismo ng area, na area equals S squared. This time, we can now substitute them, no, the value of S here. Yung S dito ay magiging 3 the square root of 5. Square lang natin yon. Tapos, to simplify this, ang gagawin lang natin ay square natin yung 3, saka square natin yung the square root of 5. When you square 3, it gives us 9. When you square the square root of 5, magiging 5 lang yan. Kaya ito ay magiging 9 times 5, which is equal to 45. Kaya ito na yung area, 45 square inches. Conclusion, the area of the square tile is 45 square inches. Take note na kapag area ang pinapahanap, laging naka-square units tayo. Kung nari, binigay ay kilometers, dapat ito ay square kilometers. Fourth item, a 25-foot ladder rests against a building and reaches a window 20 feet above the ground. How far from the wall is the base of the ladder? To better understand this, syempre magkakaroon ulit tayo ng illustration. So let's assume na ito yung ladder na nakasandal doon sa building. 
pagkaganyan ng situation, tandaan natin na lagi may mabubuong right triangle dito. Now, going back, a 25 foot ladder, so 25 yung 25 feet yung haba ng ladder na ito na nakasandal dyan. So, that's it, represented by green line. O, yan ay 25 feet. Tapos, yung 20 feet naman above the ground, yun yung naabot ng height ng dulo ng ladder. So, that's represented by blue line. Yan ay 20 feet. Tapos, how far from the wall is the base of the ladder? Ito yun, yung sa baba. So, that is represented by red line. Yan ay represent natin ng B. Now, since ito ay right triangle, it is understood na ito ang 90 degree angle. At itong opposite niya na side, no, ang tawag yan ay hypotenuse. It is always the, the longest side of the triangle. Tapos itong dalawang sides na natitira, ang tawag dyan sa mga yan ay legs. No? They form letter L. Kaya ganun siya pwedeng tandaan. No? Yan ay mga legs. Yung isang leg 20 feet, yung isang leg ay unknown. Yun ang nawawala. So yung given natin dito ay yung two legs ng right triangle at yung representation natin yung B no bilang ating base ng triangle. This time gawa tayo ng equation at ang equation na mabubuo dito ay taken from the famous Pythagorean theorem na ang sabi ay in a right triangle the square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the squares of its legs. So yung C dito ay nire-represent yung haba ng hypotenuse. Yung A and B ay yung mga legs. No, yung B ay particular na base siya. So, substitute natin yan. Yung C dito magiging 25. Yung A ay 20. Yung B dito ay siya pa rin kasi nga unknown pa rin siya. Next, ay simplify natin 25 squared ay 20 and 20 squared. That gives us 625 and 400. Tapos pagsamahin natin itong dalawang terms na to dahil para silang constant. And 625 minus 400 is uh, 225. And ang, ito ay isang quadratic equation. Ibig sabihin dalawa ang magiging roots or solutions yan. Ito ay walang linear term kaya ang gagamitin natin ay extracting square roots method. To do that, kailangan lang natin ng uh, maglagay ng square root signs on both sides of the equation. Tapos ito ay makakancel na yung radical signs sa yung exponent. May iwan dyan ay B. Tapos square root ng 225 dito ay dalawa. No? Positive or negative 15. And syempre, we are talking about measures. No? Yung mga lengths. Wala naman tayong length na negative, di ba? Kaya yung positive 15 lang ay consider natin. So ating conclusion... Therefore, the base of the ladder is 15 feet away from the wall. That's it. Thank you.